OK, let's have a look at the absorption spectrum of iodine. This is one of the experiments that you do in CM2192. Uh, in this experiment, that you're looking at a transition between the ground electronic state of iodine and the excited electronic state of iodine. Well, the idea of the experiment is to use the spectral data to derive a variety of different parameters associated with the electronic potential energy surfaces in iodine. Let me draw out an electronic potential energy surface, like so. Well, that's could be better, but it's not too bad. And let me draw in, say, the V equals zero level. And I can draw in a couple more levels if I wanted to, like so. And then let me draw in a random level up here, which I'll call V. Right, now of course, this is all versus energy here and the bottom of the potential energy well has an electronic energy that we can give TE the E here is because we're at the equilibrium position we're at the bottom of the potential energy well right well we know how much vibrational energy we have if we're in some state with vibrational quantum number V it's given by the vibrational energy term which will look something like this V plus a half nu E minus V plus a half squared nu E chi E right that means that if I'm in this level here, the amount of energy it has will be the sum of the electronic energy plus its vibrational energy. Because remember, the vibrational energy is measured from the bottom of the potential energy well. So the total energy that I have is going to be equal to the electronic energy plus the vibrational energy. Well, what we're doing in the electronic spectrum of iodine is that we're going from a vibrational energy down here in the ground electronic state. Let's draw this energy in here. This is. TE, and I'll put a double prime to indicate that this is the ground electronic state, a single prime up here to indicate that this is the excited electronic state, and now I'll put a prime on my V quantum numbers up here. Okay, so that was the amount of electronic energy that we had up there. A function of V prime, let's put the V primes in there. Okay, so this may well have been the V double prime equals zero, but in general I would be in a vibrational state that would be V double prime. Now when we excite my iodine molecule from the ground electronic state, so this is the sigma G plus singlet sigma G plus state, and it goes up to the triplet pi U state, we can go from say the a V double prime state down here up to the V prime up here. So this is the energy of the transition that would be exciting. What we want to know is what is this particular transition frequency? Well we can describe the transition frequency here where we go from say V double prime in the ground state to V prime in the excited state in terms of the electronic energy of the ground state the vibrational energy in the ground state the electronic energy in the excited state and the vibrational energy in the excited state let me show what I mean by that let me 
down here, new, where I go from v double prime to v prime will be equal to, well, it will be equal to this gap, okay, which is simply t e prime minus t e double prime, let me just put that in brackets, plus this energy here, which is of course the vibrational energy in the excited state, and I've always already given an expression up there, so let's just uh, write that down, that will be equal to v prime plus a half nu e chi e, where of course this is uh, in the excited state, like so, so, whoops, let's rub that out of course, uh, that's not what I meant, nu e, and then minus v prime plus a half squared nu e prime chi e prime and then I have to take away this energy here because of course I'm trying to find this difference, this transition frequency that transition frequency is equal to the difference in the electronic energy between the bottom of the potential energy wells plus the amount of vibrational energy in the excited state minus the amount of vibrational energy in the ground state. So let's just take away the vibrational energy in the ground state. So it would be minus, I can put this in brackets as well, just to indicate a separate term in my expression. So I'll have a V a double prime plus a half new E double prime minus V double prime plus a half squared new e double prime chi e double prime like so. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this is the expression that you require if you're going to derive the variety of parameters that you can from the information that you have in your electronic data. You will be able to determine, for instance, the difference in energy between the ground electronic state and the excited electronic state, the bottom of the potential energy wells. You will be able to derive the vibrational frequency from the, in the equilibrium position in the excited state. You'll also be able to derive the anharmonicity in the excited state. And you will also be able to derive the equilibrium frequency in the ground state you will not be able to derive this particular term because unfortunately the data is simply not good enough. We don't have enough transitions from enough vibrational energy levels in the ground state in order to get a good fix on the anharmonicity in the ground state. Well in a future presentation I will show how we can get this data out some, from some real electronic iodine data using Excel. Thank you for listening.